Welcome to this late night cozy coding session. In today's episode, I'm going to show you some splendid improvements to my otherwise extremely hacky code base. Secondly, even though I'm not a designer, I tried making a new icon for the Mac menu bar app that I'm working on. So I'd love to show you some options I have here in Figma and maybe you can help me choose and improve. Or if you feel strongly that I should definitely just go back to coding, let me know in the comments. Lastly, since I've been using this new LG monitor for about three days, I have some new impressions that I would like to share. What it actually feels like for productivity and coding, as well as some other tidbits. But first things first, as Linus himself would say, talk is cheap, show me the code. Let's acknowledge that the good people in the comments are right to point out that this check for whether a monitor is vertical is by far better than my needlessly over-engineered one from two days ago. But I also made my own little contribution today, where I replaced a whole bunch of really horrific unholy if statements with this data structure that describes the window snapping areas for different monitor orientations. Here are some icons I made today for the app using Figma. As you can see, I initially started labeling them with letters to keep things organized, but then my brain decided that the whole being organized thing is overrated. The cool kids call this being in the flow, but I'm not gonna lie, I was just lazy. Anyhow, here I tried different designs and the one I'm currently using is this one. I took inspiration from the actual app design with the three circles at the top for system monitoring and one toggle at the bottom. I kind of stole this bottom part of the design from Apple, hoping at least they must know what they're doing. Let me know what you think, is this one a keeper? Finally, let's talk about the new monitor, well well. First, I'm gonna say that it's quite comfortable to use both for coding and productivity, but only if you have a good window manager. Oh, by the way, did I mention I'm working on a window manager for the Mac? Anyhow, it's quite nice to have the full view of your file, and I'm getting a little spoiled by that. But at the same time, even when I do a vertical split like this, one of these halves is basically a 16x9 monitor, so I still have plenty of space for my side-by-side -side coding. One final note about the colors on this monitor. They're very pleasant to look at, plenty rich and saturated, but I noticed they don't quite match with the colors on my MacBook Pro. So I think for color grading in particular, I will stick with the MacBook still. Reading the comments, I think some of you mentioned that you would like to have a 4K version of this monitor. From my perspective, this might be an overkill because this monitor is actually not that large in surface area, so you get plenty of pixel density. I've also been collecting all the comments and recommendations for the new mouse from you guys, and I am going to be checking them out this week. Well, that's all for me for this episode. I hope you're all doing well, and I will see you again tomorrow.